Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough. Where I'm trying to yeah play as long as uh, needed in Long War of the Chosen. Time for a rescue VIP mission. We get a ranger, sergeant to be precise, and it's only 7 to 9 enemies. We're currently farming South Africa and East India and I want to farm it very good. So we got the training wheel squad here. Ataxia is helping a couple of uh, newcomers to get ranks and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's jump right into it. Landed and we got a VIP here and an exit there. 22 turns is plenty. One would say almost too much. We're Oscar Miking. And Moving let's up. move over. Shadow. Looks like hostiles over here. Almost a ran into a drone. Affirmative. Moving out. Shooter. Oh, can run very far. Dexia himself moves up. Hayward begins um, to move up as well. Halop, I think you guessed it. Moved up, uh, moves up. And we're moving up as well. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Look, it's a decent time to break cover, uh, concealment rather. Seven to nine enemies shouldn't be too difficult. Surveillance drone. Gets a nice little kill there. In the meantime, we're moving in. Are going to be uh, spotted, that is okay. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. And we're pulling another pack. There's yet another pack there, but this is just a pack of two. I think we're fine. Hayward gets a chance to get that drone down. Grace it. On the Come on. Shadow gets a bit more cover. Yeah, we need neither of that. I'll take a look. That's a kill. Oh, come on. Apparently it is not. Apparently it is it not. Is clear. Good. Viper is just being taken out for turn and then with the exception of the drone everything else should be fine. Here. 
more enemies are triggered, okay. Fabulous. Good, we're driving the Viper insane. Just resulted in a disorientation. That's not good enough. Back in. You want some more? Move into flank the Viper. Eh, okay, damage not not outstanding, but okay. I can handle that. Anyone want a souvenir? Good, the mech is a problem. The tank in front should get the mind merch. And we got another pack going for us, which is funnily enough, also the last pack before we're done. Let's cover. That on the other hand is not cover. But luckily we got enough temporary hit points. Frontline takes a protocol and then haywires into the heavy mech. Grab that bot. Wow, we could have even taken it over. But just the disabling itself is helpful. Good, problem solved. And we're aggressively moving in. Let's move already. Now it's going to be a uh, run and hit because we want move closer to the target and hence we're moving and shooting at the same time this thing cannot defend itself at least not for this round target still standing should have used that beforehand by the way Alright, 
moves up. And we're dealing even more damage to the mech. Move up, Re uh, reinforcements soon are incoming. One time, thousands to go. Got it. Advanced defense is a nice, very nice PCS. But the ones that are a little bit slower, like Hayward, will get a command. And are allowed to move again. It is clear. Okay, that needs to be hacked. Of course, we don't want uh, to do that with the Shinobi if we can help it. like this. I like it a lot. Unfortunately not successful. Good, I think that is it. It's a bit of a shame that we took damage. turns left over potentially could have played it a bit slower but yeah that was quite one-sided and I thought we would be fine with all of the mine uh, merch he had eight temporary hit points and an armor but all of the enemies were hitting and they were hitting quite hard eight days not too bad so shadow realm there we go Shadow. Yes, please, Hayward. Goes for formidable. I like the lone wolf. That in itself is good because if you're standing somewhat alone, you will get huge uh, benefits from it. Flashbanger is a good is a good ability as well. Just having an extra flashbang always is super good. Good, we got a bond between Haywire and uh, Shadow going. Well, it's great. Speed, defense, scope. And 
I don't understand why some of the characters are being uh, pulled twice out of the character pool. I'm always making sure that we do not have duplicates to prevent people from just handing in characters multiple times. So in this case you cannot be called toxic, you would need to be a different character because we already got a toxic uh, in the character pool. So for ranger you would be lead uh, as in the lad that he's shooting. Of course, if he has a laser rifle, that's a bit of a stupid name, but you get it. On top of that, as a ranger, wrong color scheme, my dude. Much better. Cool. Close and personal. I like it, but I like Ever Vigilant more. It's just great for tempo. Locked on. Fantastic ability. And we'll take that. 21 points. I think holo targeting is the way to go. Shredder is great. I'm going to save for that, but holo targeting, boy oh boy, that. You, my friend, do have a great set of abilities. I like that. And how is his aim? Mediocre, so we need to work on that particularly. How is the speed? Good. Okay, you need to get a proper aim upgrade. Very good. Let's do a bit of squad management because the Imperial Fists um, Corporal Corporal uh, Martin X Exenroth is not yet a sergeant okay let's just Lance Corporal okay Good. I don't even need to put anyone in a different uh, team. The only thing that I will need to do is... Ataxia needs more soldiers. Because we got um, a ranger here. And that's pretty much it. Okay, we got a spare ranger. And Lee and John is also a ranger. We got a lot of rangers now, so uh, next training will not be a ranger, but a sniper. But we also got a few sharpshooters. So Iron Hands are taking a sharpshooter. Can't take another ranger, they are already having one. Okay, cool. Well, as you can see, we're building up more teams now. And today is going to be your lucky day because we're having another easy peasy mission. Uh, resistance mech, uh, fine, but not right now needed. Uh, I would like to get this one here out. And then we make room for more missions, I think. This one is already being infiltrated. Okay. This one is being infiltrated. We got another jailbreak down here. Resistance personnel. Resistance personnel. Rookie. Okay, cool. Understood. So the Space Wolves are going to do that. Fair enough. And you know what? I shouldn't sweat uh, some of uh, the non-grouped individuals. Uh, they might just uh, do other stuff. Uh, they can always be kind of the 
odd one one z or two z uh, uh, that uh, one z or two z that you're putting into the chapters when you're um, or into the missions when you're when you can't field an entire team. Um, yeah, we're going to do the second smash and grab mission. Not the second smash and grab, the second uh, get advent VIP mission. This time we do have uh, the salamanders, uh, which is very fitting because these guys in Warhammer lore are always saving others. Let's go. Menace 1-5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Okay, seven to nine. But we got one concealed uh, unit that can help us sneak out. Look at you. It's a question, do we want to trigger them right away? I mean... This here could be a no trigger. Okay, okay. How's the incendiary grenade so small? What did you do with the incendiary grenades? I thought we'd get like this huge explosion that is <laughs> just driving home fire. But no, it's a single... Okay, well. Long War trolled me with that. Head smooth up. Let's just get the hunter drone. Nice shredding, good job, heads. Okay, just so that we're clear. You could now land this here, and the guy will burn. Okay, well, I think that's... That's not great, but it is understandable that you wouldn't want to do too much. Okay, wrong planet. Just moves up. So we know the guy is standing there, right? Right. Run gun. Fortify. Let's teach him a lesson. have used Oscar Mike look it's okay he won't die and we got it uh, all figured out and under control might as well take a shot okay never mind Bit disappointed about the shotguns not shotgun to the face is not what it used to be. But on the other hand, this guy is missing a point blank shot as well, so I didn't know that I enabled clown mode. That's more what I was expecting. Go 
Good, this guy will will die just due to the fire damage. And in the meantime, we're moving up. No, that's not needed. Running. Moves to over here. Advent troops here. Interesting. Did not uh, see them beforehand. But of course, uh, they now triggered. We have the superior position though, so I think we're okay. Like I said, apparently someone has enabled hashtag clown mode and that's exactly what is happening. That was close. I'm going. We're moving up. should remove the cover, shred him and make him very, very vulnerable. Which brings us nicely to my second intervention. Sentry gets marked. up some loot and are slowly moving further down do free reload uh, or normal re no oh we had free reload never mind shouldn't have done that That's two down. Zirkim fortifies himself. And we're moving up. There's one more enemy uh, down there. So we killed one pack. Second pack is kind of on the way. Uh, which means there is only a third, one third pack. Absolutely. a good time for Oscar Mike. Rolling. Let's see where that guy is. Might be downstairs. There we go. Caught him red-handed. Is burning, which means won't be able to do anything next round. Could theoretically move up, but that would be a bit too aggressive, even for my taste. Good, we're moving up. Rolling out. Moving to Overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. 
Good, he should move and trigger the overworld shots. Well, he is moving, but he is definitely not triggering any overworld shot. There is the last pack. sustenance which is great this is where we could not be detected that easily I think I'm going to play for an overwatch trap We still have plenty of time and after this pack we're done but they are too close to good cover and if we if we get them well on our overwatch now they will slither forward unfortunately only one of the vipers is even triggering overwatch the other two are immune to it but that's okay not a massive success but it was not a huge problem either <clears throat> let's remove cover The remaining overwatch Going in for the kill. Got it. and we're soon removing the remaining vipers Good, reload and heads will get that Viper down. <clears throat> Let me correct uh, that, apparently he is not. This should allow us to see the Viper. Yep. Okay. Okay, seems legit. We got them all down. Solid copy. One, Finally. two. So many Alarium cores. I wonder how many we do have at the moment. If I had to take a wild guess, it's potentially more than 30. It's been a while since I built the incinerary grenades, which, funnily enough, also take an Illyrium core. <clears throat> I saved uh, all of them for plasma weapons. Mainly wanted to make sure that we're getting them and that we do have enough to build plasma weapons, but I think I saved a bit too early. That was a fun little mission. All over it. Moving out. Location confirmed. Uh. 
Okay, and off we go. Let's get out of here. Don't waste my time. Not a problem. Back in and in. Ready to boogie. VIP secure. VIP secure. Ready to boogie. Getting out of here. Very nice. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Salamanders did a great job. Uh, the team works very well. A little bit low on the damage department, but as we're now getting better weapons, they will inherit kind of the older weapons. And I think the laser tier, I'm not sure if that'll persist for a long period of time. Maybe I just need to sell them at some point. Because don't get me wrong, like a laser shotgun, absolutely love it, it's great, but boy, does it not deal a lot of damage. Um... That isn't bad. The extra crits after run and gun are very very nice could have used that i think we're just going with formidable at this point a little bit different build than the others but that's okay you and the grenadier oh yeah sure got our next scientist we're at 14 plus 4 that's 18 scientists very nice got some more loot that's nice as well uh, and a resistance mech so i think we're just going to scan Something went to 100%. Yeah, the assault here. And are we going to take that? I think we are. I mean, the team is super, super good. I don't uh, see why we couldn't. Before the enemies become any stronger, might as well do it now. And, well, that's going to be another two hours grind. But we we will get a lot of corpses out of it. And we can upgrade uh, weapons. Let's do a short check. We're selling stuff on the black market. And then we're going to do that mission next. Trooper corpses, I like them. Yeah, we <laughs> we got 34 Illyrium cores. Might be a little bit much. Might be a little bit much. Uh, we have plenty that uh, we can uh, sell. Even got data pads, not sure yet. I think we can sell a few that we can certainly sell. I don't think we need iron skin, laser sight, certainly not. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Comet Awareness is nice, but we don't have really a lot of Overwatch builds to begin with. And you can see, uh, it's just adding up and not even trying to sell a lot of uh, stuff.
advanced defense. Yeah, I think look, we're okay. Just the way it is. A couple of Valerium cores. And we are very far ahead of uh, the curve when it comes to our uh, to our money. Uh, we will need some of that in order to build weapons because I want a full uh, new upgrade. Might as well uh, sell five more. We're okay, Alarum cores are fine. Um, yeah, so 550, that's going to give us a good uh, set of coil weapons, which really should be uh, come or try to become a bit of a standard uh, for at least the damage dealers. So the moment that we do have advanced coil guns, which will happen in six days, I would really want to upgrade most of it. Um, Psyams need to be upgraded as well. I've already done a couple, but uh, we would uh, need more of uh, them. And then we do have uh, we do have um, regular training uh, cycles for our Psy operatives. I think we are now rocking six or seven Psy operatives, so they will get enough uh, training. Uh, but you can see we're still not uh, nowhere near uh, finishing uh, the uh, the side training. We're still having a lot of abilities. They always need to go onto a mission, then train, go onto a mission, then train. So um, the cycles really just take a longer time. But I am convinced once we get to the cool stuff, domination, null lens, um, and void rift, as well as uh, the the um, removal of cover they actually can become an ultra ultra good support unit uh, the whole barrier field alone is extremely good just to um, to uh, proactively heal that's three hit points onto every single one of your characters and i can only imagine that it becomes uh, more powerful as your psi amp goes up that's it from my end um, a little bit of a lighter hearted uh, mission today we're going to join the gray knights the next time when they take on yet another facility. And it's going to be an interesting one because uh, when we're getting India back, that'll allow us to finally expand. So a lot more will happen, a lot more dynamical content will happen on the uh, on the strategy layer. I want to get the entirety of Asia, I want to get to North uh, Africa. So we're going to see more uh, expansion that way and we're uh, starting to then also recruit in all of those regions that's it from my end thanks for watching guys if you enjoy long more of the chosen make sure that you leave a like and a comment down below that really helps the videos i say it every time and like only three people do it so feel free to be one of the three thank you and have a good one